I lost a, um, I lost a baby. He was uh, Nico Thomas, my essay. He was, well, he wasn't, he was five months old. We lost him right. in the womb, right? right? And there was nothing that we were able to do about right. it. It was just one of those things that right. my wife went to the, went to the doctor because she was having a little bit, a little bit of, she was uncomfortable. We're yeah. like, hey, go, go check it out. Yeah. When she went, they, um, uh, they ran a, um, they did a, um, an ultrasound on her and they were like, you know, they didn't find no heartbeat. We're like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, like no heartbeat, dude. So we went through that whole whole um, process of uh, of grieving for that. She uh, had to give. She gave birth to him. She gave birth to him, and he wasn't alive. And that was rough. That that was fucking hard, Holmes, because we even had time time to spend with the baby, time to spend with him, dude. And to see my wife, see my wife holding him and asking him why, I'm like, what happened, baby? She's like, what happened, baby? What happened? And I was like, fuck, dude. Even thinking about that makes me emotional. Yeah, but. You know, he, you know, you think, you always think about like what he could have been, right. you know, I never got an opportunity to meet him right. because we lost him in the room, right. but there was nothing that we could do about that. Right. Nothing right. we could do about it. And I find peace in knowing, in knowing that dog. Right. It was just something that just, just the way that it right. worked out. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But I think about too, like what, what the fuck, what would I do if I lost one of my boys, man? Fuck man. That would be fucking I, I, devastating dog. I don't even want to fucking touch that subject and talk about that shit right it makes me fucking it makes me feel so bad about that bro but like you said man like you said i'm like my parents have told me dog when fucking my first son was born my parents told me you're never gonna sleep a good again for the rest of your life because you're always gonna be fucking worried about your kid right. they would always tell me how much they worried about me they worried right. about me i'd go out you know what i mean i did a lot of dumb shit when i was right. a lot of fucking dumb shit i'm fucking lucky that i'm not in jail or i'm not fucking dead homes um and now I understand what they're talking about. Right. 